Uh, hello out there YouTube friends. I'm just here to give you an update on my status with uh, my racing drones. So we can see I added a new one to my collection. This is the Robocat 270, the 270 millimeter. Of course this is the one I've been using uh, um, up to this point. This is the Walkera Runner 250, the 250 millimeter. And then also I use my Fat Shark Teleporter V3 goggles for FPV. And then I use a uh, Devo 7 for the Walkera. And then I just have a cheapy controller for this Robocat for now. So I'm sure I could bounce back and forth with the Devo 7, but I'm not really into binding back and forth right now. So it's really easy just to have two controllers, even if the other one's kind of cheapy, because um, I'm flying FPV anyway. So who really cares about the controller as long as you're getting good range? So, and I'll just give you a quick comparison uh, between the two since I have flown both now. Um, as we can see, the runner um, has propellers mounted towards the top of the craft, and the Robocat has the propellers at the bottom of the craft. So the main plate is actually at the bottom of the craft on this Robocat. And then here again, another look at the Walkera. We can see how the propellers are at the top of the craft. Even the battery and the battery's weight sits below the propellers. So with the Walkera, I found that you actually kind of get this this rolling type motion where it goes kind of back and forth like this so it's almost like you're holding like a bucket from a hand from a hand um, handle and the bucket will swing back and forth in the wind you know so the propellers are up top then you have all this weight below so you kind of get this weird center of gravity um, with this RoboCAD is a, it's you know 300 percent better stability when you're up in the air you're not getting this type of rolling it's literally nice and flat and uh, would just do any drifting like this in the wind. And it's a big extreme difference. I mean, huge difference to where I, I, I wouldn't even want to fly the wall, wall care anymore. I, I, I really like this one. Um, it's quick and nice. Um, the lights are awesome. But I'm looking for performance. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to go through objects. Uh, I'm trying to do rolls and flips. So... I mean, performance is, is the name of the game. Um, and another thing that's better about this RoboCat is the FPV camera. Um, so I didn't know if my goggles would work for both, but uh, my Walkera with my Fat Shark video transmitter um, comes up on channel number one. So we can see that the goggles actually have multiple channels. Um, and it says volume on there too, although I don't know why I'd be watching anything with volume on there but anyways when I plug in the RoboCat I just go ahead and change the channel to uh, channel number four or five um, channel four seems to be the best and uh, the RoboCat comes up when I have it on and so that's really nice I can just use this drone channel one on the goggles uh, with my Fat Shark video transmitter and then with the RoboCat I just turn the goggles to channel four Hey, and there's the video. And the FPV camera on the RoboCat has a huge, um, has a bigger field of view. So this is more of a fisheye lens camera um, that's almost like circular in a sense. Uh, it is awesome. So I love flying uh, through objects doing like freestyle type things much, much better with the RoboCat. Um, the, the camera I was using for the Walkera so far was the Pilot HD camera that comes with the Fat Shark Teleporter V3 goggles um, in a package. Um, one thing that is good about this um, Pilot HD camera is it does have this SD slot with a button, so you can just push the button to start recording onto the SD card, and then you see a light that blinks. There's a small light right here uh, by my thumb, and then this will record. But uh, uh, trust me, the, the main object, if you're going to get into this style of craft, is not to record video. That's just a plus, and it's nice to share with people, and it's great to share with people. But it's definitely not the main focus. The main focus is performance, getting better at what you're doing. So you need a craft that's going to perform um, and keep performing better as your abilities increase. Um, and that has nothing to do with recording video. So I would definitely recommend going with the RoboCat if you were choosing between two of these. Um, the only reason I wouldn't choose the RoboCat is if you're looking for a little bit smaller craft. So the Walkera will 
seem to fit through a little bit smaller objects um, and it is a little bit easier because it is um, 20 millimeters smaller but this one also is a beast I mean when you're flying and with all that weight below this thing is it feels like flying a NASCAR so um, this RoboCat is way more responsive to my inputs um, and will change direction a lot easier um, and that's about it. Uh, one other thing, the Walkera has the, the landing legs on the bottom, so when you are flying FPV and you're trying to go low to the ground, you always run that risk of catching one of the legs on the ground, um, and that's going to throw you into a flip and definitely break some parts. So it's almost like nerve-wracking getting close to the ground um, and worrying about where, where are the legs at. So it's nice having the lower mounted main plate with the propellers low so you could actually like skid across the ground essentially so even if you took those um, this RoboCat has rubber pieces on the bottom um, that you can see but if you didn't have something like that I mean I've seen video with guys just straight skimming on the ground underneath cars and, and objects like that so I definitely recommend getting the lower mounted uh, main plate if you're gonna get into this style of drone definitely stay away from this upper plate um, where the weights below the propellers so and that's about where I'm at. Oh, one other thing. Um, if you want to get around the fact that you can't record the video on this, uh, basically you just get yourself a, a USB adapter. So this is an RCA to USB adapter. And I have a laptop computer. So I just bring uh, my laptop computer with me wherever I'm flying. And then inside of your uh, teleporter kit, you get an RCA to headphone style plug. So it would be, I don't have the exact cable in front of me, but you'd have this style head, headphone plug. You go ahead and just plug this into the uh, teleporter goggles. Out the other side you have RCA plugs that go right into here. And now you just plug in a USB to your laptop. And so you can actually uh, connect your goggles straight to your laptop and just record uh, almost with the program I'm using right now. So something like that. Um, it makes it real easy and also um, you know when you crash with the Walkera and that Pilot HD camera you lose the video all the time I lose the video all the time if you don't stop the video before you unplug the drone it seriously just erases the video it, and it ticks me off so bad I've had so many great flights and all of my great flights for some reason the video seems to get lost every time with this pilot HD so I think I have like three videos on YouTube when I could probably have over 10 at least um, great videos um, but there's times where I unplugged it or it crashed and it loses power and it literally just erases the video it doesn't keep it so I think it's way better to just plug like a computer into your goggles and use that to record the video because um, you don't run the risk of a crash um, compromising the video file so and that's about it so have fun out there flying if you have any questions uh, throw them in the comments if you have any recommendations throw them in the comments so there's a lot of great people that are really knowledgeable out there um, I consider myself just to be a meat popsicle so I'm not necessarily an expert although some could say I am the drone pilot expert um, that know me because I do do this uh, for work a lot of video production so I, I enjoy this craft a lot uh, but I'm not like the crazy hobbyists out there like Mr. Steel um, or the uh, Canadian guys I can't remember their name um, but if you got any tips just let me know and uh, I'll definitely implement them into my routines or on my crafts and I always appreciate uh, any inputs I don't have any friends who fly drones so all you guys on the internet are my flying friends um, so let me know what's up and I will see you next time